Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Om and in today's video I'll be playing with this new palette from Urban Decay which is called the Backtalk Face and Eyes Palette. I was invited for a dinner with Urban Decay and they kind of introduced this palette to us. When I saw it for the first time I really liked it. I think the colors are so pretty, especially if you like these mauve kind of colors. Um, so in today's video I'm just going to play with it um, for the first time and just let you guys know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this video. I hope you guys will enjoy. So the first thing I'm doing is applying some eyeshadow primer and I'll be using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and applying this all over my eyelid. This will make sure that the eyeshadow that I'm going to apply today will stay in place all day. And then I'm going to use a little bit of powder, applying this all over my eyelid as well. And this will make sure that the eyeshadow primer is kind of locked in place and it will go nowhere. Then like I said in my intro, today I'll be using the Backtalk palette from Urban Decay. And the first shade I'm going in with is this light shade. And I wanted to apply this underneath my eyebrow using my 21 Smudge Brush from Sigma. But I do have to say it didn't have like a lot of color payoff. So then I'm going to use some shadow guards because I want to create a sort of cat wing today. Um, so and this will leave me with a very sharp edge which comes in really handy. Then I'm going in with the shade Backtalk and my Sigma E40 brush which is included in my Sigma Favorites brush kit. Which I made in collaboration with Sigma. The link is in my description bar. And I'm just going to blend this all over in my crease but I'm mainly focusing like at the beginning part of my crease. And then at the outer part I'm taking the shade WTF. And blending this more in the outer V. I'm also going slightly more towards the middle part and blend this together with the backtalk eyeshadow um, but I just wanted to do something different instead of only using one the same shade all over in my crease I just wanted to use two different ones just to make it different. Then I'm going to use this shade curve and I'm going to softly press this a little bit in my inner corner area um, again, this shade didn't really have a lot of color payoff. So far, I only found the shades that I applied in my crease to have like a very nice pigmentation. Um, but the rest of the eyeshadows weren't really like wow. Um, so I applied it first with this brush, which is the MAC 242. But then later I started using my finger because I felt like that gave more of a color payoff. But still not really impressed by the pigmentation. But so far I have experienced this with all the Naked palettes from Urban Decay. Like the Naked 1, the Naked 2 and there's also a 3 I believe. So I don't know what it is but I just feel like the pigmentation could be a little bit better. So now I'm applying this purple... Yeah, what is it? Like a purple shade in my outer V area. First with my brush then again with my finger to get more color payoff. And then I'm going to use this shade, which is from Anastasia Badlils. Um, I wanted to stick only to this palette, but I just felt like something was missing. I needed more of a darker brown shade, so I just decided to include this in this video. I'm sorry, but I guess we all have like somewhere laying down in our house, like a sort of brown shade. Um, just check your eyeshadow palettes, maybe it has something like this and just use it for your outer V. You can also use black eyeshadow, uh, but that can be a little bit more harder to work with. So that's why I went in with this dark brown shade and I'm taking my Sigma E25 brush to apply this. Now I'm taking this eyeliner from Sigma Beauty, which is called the Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner. And I'm using this for my eyeliner. I'm going to first create a line above my lash line, and then I'm going to create my winged liner. And now you can see that the eyeshadow guard that I use leaves me with a very sharp line. And I can use this as a guideline to where to place my line for my winged liner. I always find this really handy. So whenever I do something with a sharp edge and I know that I use eyeliner, I always grab my eyeshadow guards. Now I'm going to use this NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I'm going to apply this straight on top of that gel eyeliner. Because I feel like when you first use gel eyeliner and then on top of it with liquid, I feel like it just gives more dimension. It makes it look more black and also more matte, which I really like. 
So I'm just going to apply this all over it. Then I'm taking that dark brown shade again from Anastasia and using my flat definer brush from Sigma Beauty, which comes in my brush kit collaboration as well. And pressing this right underneath my lower lash line. Then I'm taking the shade WTF again and I'm going to use this to blend out that line. The brush that I'm using is a very tiny pencil brush from Morphe Brushes and I'm just blending my brush back and forth until I find that the line doesn't look that harsh anymore. Then I'm going in with the shade Attitude and applying a little bit of that underneath the lower lash line as well, focusing mainly at the beginning part underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm taking the shade Party Fool from that same palette, but then this is a highlighter. And I'm using this to highlight my inner corner area um, because I found like this shade looks better than the shades uh, from the eyeshadows. Then I'm taking this white pencil from MAC, which is called the Fascinating Chromographic Pencil and applying this all over in my one line to brighten it up. Now, of course, I used some fake eyelashes. I will put the name in the description bar. And I used the Tardy Cosmetics Light Scammer Lashes Mascara for my lower lashes. So I'm now finished with my eyes and I quickly applied some bronzer off camera and something for my lips. Um, the details on the products I used on my face, I'll put it down in the description bar. But right now I'm going to test out the highlighter and the blush that come in the palette. I really like the fact that they applied, um, applied, that they included uh, a bronze. Okay, again. I really like the fact <laughs> that they included like blush colors and highlighters in the palette because I personally always search for colors for my blush that kind of match with the eyes. I really like the fact that they included this in here. So for my blush, I'm going to use this color, which is called Double Take. And I'm taking this Morphe E3 brush, I'm going to dip it in here and apply it on the apples of my cheeks. I really like how it's looking so far, but I guess that's because the blush matches perfectly with the eyes. So I just think that's really awesome. Now for my highlighter, I'm not really sure what I want to go for. This is called Party Fool. Party Fool, I don't know how to pronounce this. But this looks more of a cool tone highlighter and the other one is more of a rose gold. Not sure if you can see the difference. I'm kind of starting to think that this might not be highlighters um, or maybe they are. Um, but I also think it's nice to like apply the matte blush and then apply the shimmery colors on top of it to make it more of a, a shimmery blush if that makes sense. I think I'm just going to try this um, rose gold one, which is called Low Key. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe R36. I'm just going to apply it, oh. <laughs> and I'm just going to apply it a little bit on top of my blush and as a highlighter. So now that I'm applying it, I do feel like it's a highlighter, um, but also really nice to apply a little bit on top of your blush. But since I'm applying it in the same area anyway, it automatically gets on top of my blush. So I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Just ignore me. So I'm now going to give you guys my final thoughts on this palette. Uh, when it comes to the eyeshadows, I found a lot of them kind of hard to apply. I notice I experience this every time when I use a Urban Decay eye palette and I don't know what it is. Because once I apply it, I'm like, nah, not really liking this palette. But every time the end result looks really nice and I'm really liking my makeup. So I'm not really sure what it is with these palettes. But I think I have a love and hate relationships with the Urban Decay palettes. I don't know. But this shade WTF is really nice. It blended really easily. Um, I found that this shade didn't really have a lot of color payoff. Same goes for the shimmery shades I used. When I applied them with my finger it went a lot better. But not really like wow. Um, I created a look a while ago using a Urban Decay palette which was in collaboration with Kristen Leanne and I really like that palette, the pigmentation was so nice so I kind of wish they would make like more of these palettes um, but overall these shades in this palette are really gorgeous um, I just find them a little bit hard to work with now the blush colors and the highlighters are really nice the blush applies just nicely, it has nice color payoff 
um, the highlighters are nice um, they are not like extremely pigmented but I only use them like dry and it looks really nice you can really see a shine and probably if you use like a wet brush um, with some fixed blush um, you can make it even more intense so I think it's quite nice and I really like the fact that they included this in the palette as well this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And of course, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!